All right. Everyone is back in. Um, everyone's back in right now. We will be restarting the game very soon. I'm not too sure what happened, but we're told to remate. The other caster team is coming back in. They are back in right now. Okay, we will be starting. Very, very soon. Once everyone loads in. Hope so, there is no trouble this time. Captain's Moon will come back in. So, once. The heck? <laughs> Something went wrong. We just went in and I got disconnected immediately. <laughs> Please don't tell me C servers are down. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna come back into the game again. Uh, well, once again, uh, I have to apologize. This is the Southeast Asia region, which does have one of the worst servers in the Twitter community right now. Uh, I don't think Valve is ever gonna care to. Something looks. Okay, everyone, so they're in right now. We are back Radiant once again team ban. to the AVF Gaming Freak Season 4 tournament. This is the winner's bracket finals. Sea King are up 1 0. This is the best of three. Apes need to win two games to come Ten back and take remaining. the game. And once again, King Ape, K2 Ape ban. will go with the first ban of Undying. Just tap up a little more just to make sure everything's fine on my tech or technically on my side and I will jump back into the game very quickly. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Oh. Dire Team Ban. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. 
Five seconds. Five seconds remaining. All right, just to make sure everything was doing fine, and it is doing fine, and we are back Dyer into the game once pick. again. Uh, go through the quick um, K2A has gone with the typical first ban on on dying, which they have been doing consistently for the past two games. This is the third game, of course, they're doing that kind of casting with them. They will go with the second ban on Gyrocopter. And a Phoenix and Io ban this time has been banned up on CK. And K2A will go seconds, with the remaining. first pick of a Beastmaster. Five seconds remaining. And now go the way of... This is weird. Oh, okay. I think that's why they Reserve remake it. Time. The banning... Banning was wrong, maybe. K2A was supposed to have first pick. Surprisingly, they have decided to go with the Beastmaster again. It didn't do too well. It won its lane, but... but... I guess it didn't really fail. It did a pretty good job. Wern did a pretty good job on the Beastmaster. It won the lane, but it really couldn't do much because the gyro was just so fat. And Nana was really really big when she actually started joining team fights and the raw just couldn't do much anymore and I think the raw does like three seconds, four seconds, no that's uh, four seconds start is correct. Queen of and Pain. And King will be able Dyer to pick up the Queen pick. of Pain this time and I wonder whether they will be greedy and pick up the Lashrek too. Lashrek is still in the pool and the first pick not being used to pick up Queen of Pain or the Last Strike or even the Some Spirits. Some Spirits is still in the pool too and oh. Interestingly Radiant Dragonite has been picked up by the by Sea King. We'll go into the game. Um Last Strike is of course still available for K2A but Last Strike has the um I feel Last Strike and Queen of Pain is definitely one of the most even lineup um, for mid. Uh, Lashra of course will be able to dish up a lot of damage on Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain Shadow Strike able to do a significant amount of harassment on the Ten Lashra as well. And of course the Lashra becomes too aggressive, comes down over the heel. Five Queen of Pain can just jump remaining. to the other side and Shadow Shadow Strike, Scream of Pain at uh, probably Reserve about a 3 time. or 4 where she's more significant and that will just do a significant amount of damage on the Lashra and will be able to bring her down. Bring him down pretty easily, yeah. But of course, the Lashrek can just turn around and throw a splitter, stun the Queen of Pain, comes up. Earth Shaker. Do significant amount of damage over time. Oh, they will not pick Radiant up the Lashrek. Actually, K2A will we'll go for the Earth Shaker. And we will see two heroes now being picked up the Beastmaster off laner once again, and they will immediately ban out the Lashrek. They will not allow Sea King to be so greedy. They know, of course, the Queen of Pain and the Dragonite is already two big problems to deal with if they allow the Lashrek to go through. Sea King will have a ridiculous amount of pushing power. I guess Earthshaker is a pretty good counter remaining. towards the push. Radiant Fissure team able ban. to store creeps in general and everything else. And which Doctor will be banned out by Sea King? Let's get third ban. So we now move into the fourth ban phase of K2 Ape. K2 Ape will ban out the Chen. You see the pushing ban. potential, they are now banning up all the other pushing heroes, Chen and the last right, of course Chen dealing with 4 crits right now, won't have a ridiculous pushing power. Hmm. I do see it as a greedy build if you remaining. let the Chen slip through, pick up the Beastmaster going solo Five off lane, you pick remaining. up the Earthshaker as the solo support, you pick up a Shadow Fiend or a Storm to go mid and a safe lane farmer and then you do a very greedy build by going for the for the bounty hunter. Which will be able to deal with the trend significantly. And of course there is a problem of um, the bounty Dyer hunter does not provide pick. a counter push. Of course you could go for two cores that provide good counter push. Shadow Fiend does pretty good on counter push. Um, Okay, Storm Spirit doesn't. Um, Puck does pretty well on counter pushing or clearing creep wave. And you could potentially go for a Medusa, though she's not really in. A Gyrocopter, you should really ban out. Uh, PL does pretty well with the pushes too, so those are all some things they could potentially Ten go for. But they ban out the Chen anyway. And a Tinker has been banned out by Sea King, so it does look like Five they are very remaining. interested to, to continue to pick in the favor of this pushing Reserve lineup time. in general, so maybe they'll go for a Shadow Shaman? 
a Jakiro would actually be a very good pickup right now. Is this still called a Jakiro Twin Head Dragon? Um, I know it was called a Jakiro. They will actually go for the control pick and they will pick up a Rubik. Pick. Rubik provides a very good amount of control. Um, a lot of skills Lena. from the Beatsmaster is very good of course and of course even Dyer Earthshaker Fissure. Um, the only thing you probably don't want is Enchant Tantum. Uh, you got Fissure, you got Echo Slam, you got the Raw, um, you got the Whirling Axe which is pretty good. Now you got the Lina Laguna Blade, this the LSA, um, Slave, Dragon Slave. Whistleback has been picked up by... Hmm, Radiant team pick. Bristleback has been picked up by Seeking, so it will likely be an offlane Bristleback, solo or not. I'm still not too sure. But an offlane Bristleback, uh, maybe a safe lane Dragonite with a mid Queen of Pain and a Rubik just providing the control and support. I was talking about the Jakiro because Jakiro provides a ridiculous amount of control. Um, the slow, the, the tower pushing ability, the ultimate, Ten the ice pass remaining. Jakiro is a very powerful control support, almost like Rubik. Five seconds. But definitely, remaining. Jakiro gives a much better push than Rubik does. Reserve time. Uh, Bristleback doesn't exactly contribute to the push, but it does help with the team fight. So that's something. Now we'll go to the 4th pick from K28 before we go back down. If K28 loses this game, of course they go down to the losers bracket finals. Uh, which will be played tomorrow night, I believe. Yeah, the finals is on the 4th of June, 8pm I think. And so what we're gonna see now is we'll be able to pick up a fourth pick if they win this game we go to game three and the winner will produce progress to the grand final the loser drops to the finals of the losers bracket of course and I think that is a best of three as well I will check this between game two and game three if we manage to go to game three and I was thinking of casting another game but actually no by the time this game ends the best of ones from the Lucius bracket will be back. over anyway. Yeah, it's now 8 a.m. It's three hours. It's already 11. They are already starting the the final match of the day, which will start at 11:30. And I don't think this game ends in half an hour, <laughs> unless something big back. happens. They will ban out the Meepo to prevent even more counter push, and that's a very interesting ban. Uh, I do see the Lina going mid. Um, no, I don't think it's a very good Ten lineup. Seconds it's remaining. a very good matchup against the Queen of Pain. Beastmaster will be going off lane against a Five seconds remaining. aggressive, not aggressive. Team Rubik is a very defensive support, <laughs> and a leash even more defensive support. So Radiant the Beastmaster should be having a pretty okay lane, gaining experience. I don't think they're gonna get any kill killing power off their silencer. So we went out as a final ban from K two A. So that is an interesting ban. I guess it is an important ban because they are a very teamfight orientated lineup. Disruptor, Earthshaker, Beastmaster. Surprisingly, we haven't seen a sh Shadow Shaman. Of course, even if you remember watching the. Actually, if you watch the C qualifier, remaining. Shadow Shaman didn't make a lot of appearance. The only people that really played the Shadow Shaman were the remaining. Koreans MVP. <laughs> Ironically, the winners of both Reserve Southeast time. Asia qualification spot. And Korea isn't even a Southeast Asia country. <laughs> Drow Ranger. And a Drow Ranger. Dire team pick. Hmm. I mean, a, wow, Haru plays a Lina safe lane? Because Drow Ranger. Aji has picked up Drow Ranger. And that's a much better lineup against the Queen of Pain. If you jump in against a Drow Ranger and you get Gus, you are dead. <laughs> you are totally dead. Of unless you have support, of course. But if you're if you're one on one and you jump in onto the Drow Ranger and she gushes you, you are just a dead Queen of Pain. That's three second silence, and you will not run away from a Drow Ranger. 
And it does make sense, an aggressive trilane, Lina, Earthshaker, Disruptor Ten is much, much more powerful. And I think leaving the Beastmaster on the safe lane against the Bristleback Five will be a remaining. much better option. And we will go into game one, game two, very quickly. Once again, Sea King has the early lead. We have K2 Apes on the Radiant side, Wern once again on the Beastmaster. Oh, Beastmaster has disconnected. Um, Nazri on the Disruptors, Kaido on the Earthshaker, RG on the Draw Ranger, Haru on the Lina. Over here, we have boys on over on the Dire. We have Sea King, boys on the Rubik, PK. I think they changed the player. PK on the Dragonite, Didara on the Bristleback, Arrow 404 on the Queen of Pain, and Pamaka Jr. on the Lich King. Where the heck is Nana? <laughs> Did you just change a name? Maybe maybe it's a name change, but Nana become PK. I do hope it's a name change. Actually. So it looks like they're going mid. So PK looks like he's going mid with the DK. Against a draw ranger. Ooh, he's going to suffer. I think DK is gonna suffer really, really badly. Haru looks like the Lina is going mid. And Aji will be going bottom, so they switch up a little bit. Seconds to battle. They do scale out everything though. We're doing a very good job with the beast. <laughs> it's preventing the kill from going the way of the Queen of Pain. And once again, the beast comes back up. How much slow does the beast have at level 1? Um, 10 percent, not too much. So they will secure the top rune. And looks like it will be going the way the of battle the battle begins. Not to burn. And DK will pick up that. We'll pick up the middle rune as well. So this looks like we will be having a wow. Both supports are gonna puck mid. Are they gonna aggressive try lane mid? <laughs> That's gonna be hilarious. No. Okay. No, they do not. Boys will be rotating back down. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> and Kaido on the ES and... Oh, surprisingly, Wurn in the jungle? That's some interesting lanes actually. Oh! Boys will be rotating in and they want the kill on her rule right now. Leech is coming in too, but he will be able to move away from this. Does she have a slow? No slow available. The LSA does not connect. Haru is in danger. The fissure now pre prevents the DK from following up right now. LSA now continues. Stands up on the boys. The miss the attack does not miss. Oh, Saito doing a very good job blocking it. One more right click. First blood goes the way of boys and now he is in deep danger. What is this? No further rotation coming in and seeking once again asserting Dyer's their domina dominance attack. over this. Oh my god, the. Mana regeneration does get cancelled out and does get no. The first blood goes the way of seeking, and boys will be the one that picks it up. And yes, as expected, it will be an aggressive tri lane top, and one will be able to solo this lane alone. And Dida Ra will once again be harassed by the beast. Earthshaker will be doing a significant <laughs> amount of rotation. LSA has connect on PK right now, but I don't think there's enough. Fisher not connects on PK. This could be a very major kill for Haru, but not enough damage right now. And LSA connects again. 
beautiful play right there from Haru. Left for Cider and now Cider is in danger right now. Trying to leave him up, throw him up top creep. Looks like he's dead right now. He's gonna walk to the other side. Fisher is ready. He's trying to turn around for Fisher, but will not be able to get it off. No mana left on Gina as well. And I think he actually fed the mango to. I think Haru fed his mango to Cider, hoping he could get a Fisher off. Ooh, that is big. If that really happened, then that is big. But the bottom Dyer's is up now on Haru, and attack. Haru does manage to get that kill on the Dragonite, which surprisingly he is still not caught up. And Brad is actually reconnected. I didn't even notice he just connected. And up top, the Queen of Pain isn't getting as much out of the lane and just harassing Disruptor a lot actually. Um, boys are gonna come in here, he jumps forward and secures a kill and Nasri stuns on a G, reduce damage now and Earthshaker comes in, has a fissure, trying to bring boys as low as possible it does not matter and looks like Pamakan will pay with his life however, Cider is also in danger right now, no Shadow Strike available, no mana, Bling is available though. And no mana for an Earthshaker, so the early game starting to look bad for CK, K2 Ape once again. It looks like CK is ready to take this game. We do have a very early lead right now. And of course, this tri lane on KOP requires the KOP to gain a significant amount of support, a significant amount of leeway earlier on in the game. And if he does gain that leeway, Radiant's middle tower is Archie under attack. Up the rune and looks like he's gonna leave the bounty rune for the Lina. And Lina will be able to pick up the rune. DK isn't even going for bother. He's going for a quick bracer. Why is he picking so many iron branch up? Now is actually doing really well compared to the puck. The Warden isn't able to harass him as much. Cider requires to get a kill on arrow 404. They need to shut her down. She is in an aggressive try and just Oh my god, it is the wrong direction, sadly. The gush was not able to connect. It was the wrong direction anyway. Dyer's top the Fissure tower ca is catches under her on the right direction, then the slow and the gush will be able to finish her off. As I was mentioning, arrow 404 is in the tri lane. Um, she is sharing experience with the supports, but the double kill. Or is the involvement with two kills up top just now does give her a very beneficial situation that she is in right now. Trying to get the most out of the border, dropping her circlet and the branch. Rotation coming in from the bleach actually. The fissure this time connects. LSA misses. Laguna Blade thrown out, but the stun connects on Haru and PK will make a way. Very good player right there using the dragon from to gain the range for the dragon's tail. And the dragon's tail does connect on Haru, preventing her from catching up. Looks like Bristabat will be able to steal the Ace Room, may even be able to turn and the Raw is used on boys and looks like boys will go down here but the Haze Room now coming the other way. He may be able to get a kill on Wern, the Haze Room will not slow him down so the Poison will not be able to do it but the rotation comes in from the Disruptor and he's forced to back away. Nice pick off there but by Wern on the on boys. And up top, now Era comes in, they sort of support rotated in, they want to get a kill in a G right now. And a G is just Radiant actually gonna, is he's gonna TP away. It's too dangerous to stay in there and it's not good for him to not get any farm either. So he's just gonna TP away, he's gonna farm mid. And they're actually switching Haru to go top. Which is interesting. Don't you dare. Sly Glad coming out right there and Smoke Gang now coming in. They need to get that kill on PK. 
They're gonna go up. They may catch boys on the other hand and... No fissure. The fissure does connect and the glimpse is now used to pull him back. And there you go. Boys will go down. It's not um, the heat. It's the humiliation. I don't think that's a win for k 2 Pi. They were definitely looking for PK. They wanted the kill on PK, but they Dyer's got boys instead. And it was four men in Wolf, so... Somehow... What? Dragon form being used very casually right there. Somehow Nana was not involved. Nana did not get any goal or... Oh, the stun now connects on Pamakan Jr. But he will be able to walk away from that safely. Dire structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I mean, they definitely wanted the kill on PK instead of a Rubik. But getting the Rubik with, I think, 4% in raw, but the recap only showed 3%. I'm not too sure why um, why AG wasn't credited with a support or goal gain whatsoever. So you see now, they are waiting for a Fissure. Is a Fissure available? They need to stuck him down. No Fissure! That's a misplay. That for sure is a misplay from Cider. Miscommunication, I believe. If the Fissure were connected, that would be a key. Oh, beautiful roll from Wen, catching all three of them. And right now, Fissure is on Kuda, right off Kuda right now. We'll be able to catch Q. Dragon Slave completes the kill on Le Lina, gets the kill in the back on Leech. And Boyce is now trapped. The Guna Blade used to get a double kill right there. Snowball Hero is ready to snowball. Beautiful kill and looks like they Radiance will push this advantage and with all three, all three, four, Beastmaster actually moving away. The raw, beautiful from Burn, catching all three. Are they gonna contest? They are gonna contest actually and oh the major TP now coming in. Cider trying to get the feature of Aji in danger right now. And he's just gonna try to silence as much as possible, not gonna be able to do much. And now Haru is in danger, he does not have mana, he doesn't mana for any LSA. Not gonna be able to do much. And Wern, I think they saw the, they saw the TP from Wern up top. Though Wern will not be able to stop the push anyway, he does not have Wild Axe. Max up the beast. And he will be just pushing his top tower. Picks Dyer's up an early medallion. That's a attack. quick recap of the item. Early medallion being picked up. Bottle and looks like he's working Radiant's towards. Bottom tower I'm not so under sure. Attack. Um, oh, okay. Um, Trets. Uh, Trets and Aquila. Arcane Boots, uh, as you can see. Vanguard up on Vidara. Wow, he's been having good fun. Very very early Vanguard right there. Everyone else no items actually, but I do think they have a significant amount of gold. Rubik is keeping up. Probably our King Boots. Um, I'm not too sure about this though. Lina is actually leading the current network chart. So though she hasn't been doing too well, uh, one she's been doing. Too well, so. Real pain is also. 4-1-0, right on the Lina? Yes, 4-1-0. Pin of Pain is 2-0-2. The Pin of Pain have the same amount of kill involvement, just no damage. And the Green's now coming back on the Brisa Bat. Oh my god, LSA actually missed, but Fisher connects this time. Laguna Blade being used, and I think he's dead. He's definitely dead. Oh, he might actually stay alive! Wow! The Rubik skills no feel. Amazing play from boys. Saving the Grisabak from almost a certain death. Wow. Yeah, this looks like a denied tower. tower. Oh, they will fail to deny Dyer's it. The catapult will get the tower. Fallen. And two towers go down to the to K2 Ape in quick succession. And I think they have a goal lead right now. They do, but that comes from the tower. <laughs> actually farming the ancient already I think building into an MOM would be pretty beneficial this game you require the MOM to run from a lot of these heroes smoke is now being picked up by Nasri and that's a stack two stacks actually we have a stack uh, not not efficient farming right there. Radiance middle tower is under attack. 
And Lina gets a kill up top. Oh, a kill. Raw being used to secure a lot. Raw and Laguna Blade being used. What? Nothing was recorded somehow. Raw and Laguna Blade being used to secure a kill. So they now know Raw is not available and Sea King will be pushing down mid. But the Fissure connects on true. Actually, all four. And uh, G gets slowed up by Frost Armor. That's a lot, that's a level 2, level 1 for some key bonus armor. Surprisingly, Disruptor is going to TP away. Now she's, she's trapped in a bad location, he's not going to risk it. DK is out of mana, they're going for a Shadow Blade. We need to Shadow Blade. How's the push now, as you can see, coming up? Fissure, Dragon Slave, Roaring Axe, and the wave dies. Everyone takes a significant amount of rest and they are forced to back away. Oh, they smoke under the hawk! They smoke under the hawk! Are they going to go up and challenge this? I don't think so. They do not have they do not have they do not have their ultimates up. That was a bad play from CK. Smoke under your tower or smoke under sentry. You know there are hawks around. That was a bad play from CK. You probably realize they're backing away already, and yes, they are. <laughs> wow, what is it? Really, really. Wonder what he's gonna do. He is pretty high on network, I think. Yes, he is actually at the top. Droringer is actually caught up too. They are doing a very... Uh, K2Ab is doing a fantastic job defending their towers actually. They were behind for a short while until they do a very good job defending their towers. And Laguna Blade being showed out right now, I think even stolen. And oh, they showed out the Jinx and Haru gives up a very, very greedy, greedy kill right there. Very greedy and felt that was bad. He just no. Well, Ruby got level six after the Lina's death. But select on up on Disruptor and Earthshaker. Very close. Actually, not too close. Looks like the T1 will go down this time. Radiant structures are fortified. Gleep has actually been down. They have actually managed to keep Gleep alive. Uh, this. Disruptor. Oh, Disruptor is being Shadow Strike right now. He is being brought down. And Upshaker has actually gone down mid. And looks like Nazri uses the ultimate to try to get a kill. Oh my god, he gets away Static Stop. That is bad. That is bad. That's a lot of misplays coming out from K2 Apes. After they started to look like they have a firm grip on the game. And they, they just had a lot of misplays right there. The Earthshaker probably should not have died. Um, Disruptor should not have wasted Static Storm right there. Lina Haru should not have jumped forward for the kill on Error 404. And those were just successive bad plays that have now thrown away their lead. And Sea King has now taken the lead. Though it's a very small lead. And of course, the, the, the early lead comes from the server good fights. Um, from k 2 ape and the one attack. major major smoke where all five of them smoke up and went into the jungle and did not find anything and all that time k 2 ape knew the smoke was available they moved up they farmed they farmed the top lane and the bottom lane and they farmed up the ancients as well however i still think yes ag still has the top network and cider is now working very very hard to get his level six Oh, he does not actually get it. I thought he would. <laughs> it's actually not pretty low. Bling Dagger up here. So let's have a quick check on items. Um, Casual Yasha being built up. So the bonus damage will be 44 right now. Midas, very interesting pick right there, actually. The Midas. And over here, uh, Vanguard Gunning. 
turn into a no actually mechanism not crimson god mechanism um trying to get a quick a gundam scepter very very close actually ever doing a very good job coming back and the shadow blade picks up from pk though they probably know though they probably know because um I know he picked up the Shadow Omelette and he left it there and now the Fusion connects, LSA connects, Lacuna Blade finishing off Echo Slam, not necessary, but you stop anyway. DK opens up the ultimate, wants to chase Shadow Blade now being used. We get a return kill on Haru, Haru blinks away and Cider is now left here in danger, Haru trying to pick someone up at the back. Haru TP's away but oh, Cider is dead. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Haru's right there, and Haji Dyer's middle to tower run. is under attack. And he will be able to run away right there. And the raw now uses Dazi Dafex from uses security kill. Make sure he will not be able to run away. But his back is being faced right there. Oh, is under oh. Attack. what? Oh, he has a border invisibility rune. Oh my god, that is big. That is big, big play from him. Storing up the Radiance moon. bottom tower. We do get a deny, denied. but. Two ultimates being used to bring him down. Pretty quick cooldown on both of them actually. But still, they now know all the ultimates are on cooldown. Laguna Blade and Cider, I think, tilting a little bit. Radiant structures Did a very good fortified. game against uh, Radiance top cool to bad is under in game attack. one. Pretty good game in game game one against Sea King as well. But a lot of misplays coming from him this game. The Fissure early on in mid. If he connected it early, he would have got that kill on PK. Instead, I think he was lagging out. Radiant's just wasn't paying attention. Under attack. Deck. 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 Earth. Deck. Echo Slam. Radiant's on. top tower has Arrow. Fallen. Very unnecessary, but. And when all their ultimates are down, uh, Laguna Blade is back up. 8 more seconds to release Master Ultimate. And 20, 20 seconds to Static Song. Shaker immediately pinks it out. The hawk is being sent there. 